So thank you, Chris, so much for joining us today. If you could just introduce yourself um, for everyone, tell us your job title, what agency you're affiliated with, if you ever had any experience um, working with the CESU or LTER networks, and overall, how long you've been working for a federal agency. Thanks. My name is Chris Oishi. I'm a research ecologist with the USDA Forest Service. Um, I'm part of the Southern Research Station, and uh, my duty station is the Coweta Hydrologic Lab. We're in Western North Carolina near the Georgia border. Um, I've been with the U.S. Forest Service. Um, I started as a postdoc and then continued on in a permanent position. And I started there in 2013, so a little over 10 years now. Um, and I, uh, during that time from 2013 up through 2020, Coweta was um, one of the, it was part of the LTER network. So I started off there working with a number of collaborators and, and being a co-PI for, on, uh, on that project for um, uh, several years. Awesome, thank you. And so I asked you to reflect on the theme of challenges and benefits. And thus far, um, what is some of the most stressful aspects of your job? I think the stressful aspects are probably similar to what goes on in, in graduate school, uh, you know, trying to juggle lots of different objectives uh, under certain deadlines um, and being pulled in a lot of different directions. I don't think it's quite as stressful as, as grad school, it's much less stressful in grad school, and but there seem to be more uh, more things thrown at you. Um, so, you know, trying to get grant proposals in on time while also dealing with other other requirements and, and new things will pop up all the time. So that um, adds to some stressful challenges, but um, keeps for a dynamic work environment. Nice. Um, so what kinds of problems do you deal with on a daily basis? Well, outside of, you know, the scientific problems and trying to trying to solve um, <laughs> solve scientific questions, <laughs> um, you know, types of problems involved, you know, looking at the budget and trying to stay, keep, keep within budgetary, um, um, constraints. Uh, we manage, I think at this point, you know, manage several, several employees. And so making sure that everyone is um, um, progressing along in, in their career path as, as they want to. Um, and I think also, you know, kind of just trying to, to continue to um, not only do the science, but do a lot more work with um, communicating the science to a variety of stakeholders from tour groups that come through um, to uh, passing along information up to um, through the station to be communicated to the the agency heads and into Washington DC. Awesome. Um, and so on the other side of that, what is some of the more rewarding aspects of your job? Well, I mean the the, the biggest reward is it, you know is is probably why most people get into the sciences in the first place. It's it's really exciting because you get to you know try to answer these interesting scientific questions. Um, and hopefully ones that are benefiting society, you know, addressing real world challenges like climate change and um, how basically ecosystems are going to adapt to future conditions. And so helping to try to be a part of the solution to that um, is, is really fairly rewarding. And, uh, um, you know, having um, a fair amount of autonomy to basically to address those and, and think about how how you want to, you know, what, what, what the relevant questions are, how to tackle them and how to answer them. So that's always exciting. And the problem solving part of that is, is fun. So when reflecting on the different challenges and benefits you have experienced um, in your position, what is one piece of advice that you would have given yourself from the beginning of your career journey? Maybe one of the things that I probably could learn to do better or could tell my earlier self to do better is, is to, to find places to say no, where you, you realize you're, you're spread too thin and that you, you know, you mm -hmm. can't take on another project or you don't want to, um, you know, to, to prioritize and, and to, and to figure out which, which things you, um, um, have the ability to, uh, to pass on. And so, well, thank you so much, Chris, for doing this interview with us. And we are looking forward to hearing more from you at the career panel. Thanks so much for the opportunity. Looking forward to it. Thank you.